Hey, what up everybody? Yeah, today we're going to be uh, putting this little trailer together to haul our bass radar around on. Make it a little bit more convenient at some of our fishing holes. Just to be able to back up to the water and, and uh, launch it without having to put it in and out of the back of the truck. That'll make it pretty good. So we're going to be using a an 8 by, what is it, an 8 by 5 little utility trailer that I have around the house. I use it for different things, using it for yard work and uh, haul my golf cart around on it every now and again. And so I don't want to tie it up where I can't use it for those kind of things. So I'm just going to make a little makeshift bass raider trailer out of it. And maybe one day we'll get come up with us a designated trailer. I have actually got a jet ski trailer that needs some work done on it. So maybe, uh, before too long I can get that project started and just have a designated trailer for the Bass Raider. But until then, we're going to be using this little utility trailer. It's just a basic little trailer, it's nothing fancy. But like I say, it's a utility trailer. And uh, so we're just going to make a makeshift boat Bass Raider trailer out of it. So uh, while well, we get started with this project, I went ahead and picked up some uh, pressure treated 2x4s two by, two by and some uh, boat trailer bunk decking material we will be using. So uh, yeah, we'll start cutting that, get everything cut out for the job, and uh, be on our way. So just follow me along. I went ahead and set my little chop saw up. Got my first board marked at 65 inches. The trailer 64 inches across where the side railings are on it. I want them to overlap just a little bit. So uh, we'll go ahead and make that cut. Go ahead and get my boards cut and then I'll get back with y'all on what's going on. Everybody knows what a chop saw sounds like when it's running, so I'm not going to put y'all through here and all that noise. So uh, we'll be right back. Let me get these boards cut. Be right back with you. Okay, so we got all our boards cut now. Got uh, two of them cut at 65 inches. Those will go across the trailer from the side, hand side rails, and uh, we got four little six-inch blocks cut. And that'll be the little stops that go underneath the 2x4s to keep it from sliding left to right and uh, keep everything on the trailer where it's supposed to be. So uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and put the carpet material on it, the bunking material, and uh, get that project underway. Okay, I think to get this thing started, we're going to fold this up on the end. It's like wrapping up a Christmas gift. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Try to get it about the center of the 2x4. Make sure we got a decent starting spot. Go ahead and put a couple staples just to hold it kind of where we want it to begin with. Go ahead and do the other side. Trying to make sure it stays pretty tight. Then we're just going to tuck these ends together like that. Make everything kind of snug. Just like so. I think this edge right here we're just going to kind of fold under.
Okay, we're just going to run that whole bunk just like that. So I won't bore y'all with that. I'm going to go ahead and get this done and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I made it down to the other end on that first bunk. So uh, I'm going to cut the end off. Let me get down here where you can see. Figure out where I'm at. Okay, so I'm just going to take my knife and just kind of leave myself a little bit of room. Cut that material off. Yeah, you got to have one of these. It's a razor light. You can pick them up at Academy Sports. Replacement blades. It's like a razor. I use it quite a bit. I do taxidermy work as well. And uh, it's been a blessing to me to come up with this knife for my taxidermy work. Anyway, get back to our project. <clears throat> so we're going to do this the same way we did the other one. We're just going to tuck it in. Just like a Christmas gift. Take my stapler. Try to get it tight if we can. All right. And I run them staples all the way down pretty tight. Pretty tight together. I don't want this thing to ever move, I don't think. It don't look too bad. Top of it looks good. Bass Raider's going to love it. So, I'm going to build another one just like this. And, uh, it'll be the same process. Just rinse and repeat. And, uh, when I get that done, I'll come back and we'll show you show you where we're at. Okay, we got I've got the bumps covered now, so I'm gonna put the little stops on there. And since I got a little bit of bunk material left over, I'm gonna go ahead and cover them too, just because I got extra stuff left over. No really big reason other than it might look a little better. So we'll do it the same way. Uh, let me zoom in down here on that. It's just a little six inch block and I had some extra material. So I'm gonna lay them up here and get my measurements right. Probably go ahead and attach this block to the runner. Make sure I got it on the bottom. Yeah, I do. Kind of miraculous in itself. I want this to be about three inches from the end and that don't have to be exact either, but we'll go ahead and measure it. So that's about where it's going to go. I'm going to pull this up about halfway, just like we did the other side, the bunks. And I'm going to put one staple in there just to hold it. Put one out here on this edge just to hold that because I want to be able to get to them holes. I pre-drilled the holes counter sunk them just a little bit so then we'll take the drill it's kind of a long screw too so I'll make sure it didn't and it didn't come through so that's cool Okay, down that that's attached, we can go ahead and do our little Christmas wrapping through the ends.
I'm going to go ahead and tack that bottom. to be perfect all this right here is going to be hidden Okay, we're going to do the other end just like that, and we'll be ready for a test fit. Okay, so the bunks fit good. Um, the way they're designed, they just fit from one rail over to the other rail. It's got a little stop in here just to keep it from sliding like that. We're going to position one. One of them be in the front, one in the back. About like that. That tailgate on that trailer, it just lays down on the inside. That's kind of the reason I didn't put the boat inside the trailer. I didn't want to remove that tailgate because I use it. So anyway, this is the design that we came up with. And we're fixing to load the Raider up and I'll just see how it works. All right, let me go get her. Alright, so the trailer acted pretty good. I mean, everything went alright. Uh, the one thing that I know I got to do and probably be one of my next projects would be uh, to put some sort of a winch up here on the front of the trailer. I may go ahead and go with an electric winch, a uh, battery powered winch, so that I can uh, winch my boat up out of the water. If I'm on a steep incline, sometimes I don't launch on a ramp. Maybe just uh, have to drag it down to the water and then winch it back up where I can get it to the trailer. 
so we'll be looking at that project uh, maybe a video coming up soon but in the meantime you can click right over here and uh, watch a couple of my previous videos and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, if you found anything interesting only give me a like and uh, hit that notification bell and I uh, much appreciated. Alright, y'all have a good one.